Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer. And Happy New Year to everyone. Today is January 1st, Monday morning of 2024. Our morning prayer today begins on page 27 in our prayer books. Today is the Feast of Mary the Theotokos, or Mary, Mother of God. Let's join together in prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm, and keep us from evil. Behold, our God has come among us, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For Yahweh is a great God, a great king over all other gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the mightiest mountains as well. The sea belongs to him, for he made it. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. O oh, that today you would listen to Yahweh's voice. Harden not your hearts, as Israel did at Meribah as they did in Massa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For forty years I was angry with them, and I said, They are a people whose hearts turn away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So I swore in my anger, they will never enter my place of rest. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Behold, our God has come among us, born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon himself and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed through the indwelling of your Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be. He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending He. Of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see, evermore and evermore. O oh, that birth forever blessed, when the Virgin, full of grace, by the Holy Ghost conceiving, bore the Savior of our race, and the babe, the world's redeemer, first revealed his sacred face evermore and evermore. This is he whom heaven taught singers, saying of old with one accord, whom the scriptures of the prophets promised in their faithful word. Now he shines the long expected. Let creation praise its Lord evermore and evermore. O ye heights of heaven, adore him. Angel hosts his praises sing. All dominions bow before him and extol our God and King. Let no tongue on earth be silent. Every voice in concert ring evermore and evermore. Christ to thee with God the Father and O Holy Ghost to thee. Him and chant and high thanksgiving, be unwearied praises be, honor, glory, and dominion, and external victory, evermore and evermore.
we have become partakers of the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Alleluia. Behold, the beautiful words stir my heart. I will recite a lovely poem about the king, for my tongue is like the pen of a skillful poet. You are the most handsome of all. Gracious words stream from your lips. God himself has blessed you forever. Put on your sword, O mighty warrior. You are so glorious, so majestic. In your mercy, ride out to victory, defending truth, humility, and justice. Go forth to perform awe inspiring deeds. Your arrows are sharp, piercing your enemies' hearts. The nations shall fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. You rule with the scepter of justice. You love justice and hate evil. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you, pouring out his oil of joy on you more than on anyone else. Myrrh, aloes, and cassia perfume in your robes. In ivory palaces, the music of strings entertains you. King's daughters are among your noble women. At your right side stands the queen, wearing jewelry of finest gold from Ophir. Listen to me, O royal daughter. Take to heart what I say. Forget your people and your family far away. For your royal husband delights in your beauty. Honor him, for he is your lord. The presence of Tyre will shower you with gifts. The wealthy will beg your favor. The bride, a princess, looks glorious on her golden crown. In her beautiful robes, she is led to the king, accompanied by her bridesmaids. What a joyful and enthusiastic procession as they enter the king's palace. Your sons will become kings like their father. You will make them rulers for many lands. I will bring honor to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. We have become partakers of the divinity of Christ, so humble, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Alleluia. Arise, Jerusalem, let your light shine for all to see. For the glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you Yahweh arises. Above you God's glory appears. All nations will stream to your light. Many kings will come to behold your radiance. Look and see, for everyone is coming home. Your sons are coming from distant lands. Your little daughters will be carried home. Your gates will stay open day and night to receive the wealth of many lands. They will call you the city of the, the Lord and Zion of the Holy One of Israel. You will know at least, last that I, Yahweh, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. Salvation will surround you like city walls and praise will be on the lips of all who enter there. No more will you need the sun to shine by day, nor the moon to give its light by night, for Yahweh will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. We have become partakers of the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, yes, Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Everywhere from east and west, praise the name of the Lord. For the Lord is high above the nations. His glory is higher than the heavens. Who can be compared with the Lord our God? Who is enthroned on high? He stoops to look down on heaven and on earth. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among princes, even the princes of his own people. 
He gives the childless woman a family, making her a happy mother. Praise the Lord. We have become partakers of the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. We have become partakers of the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Our scripture this morning is from the Old Testament, the prophet Micah. But you, O Bethlehem, Ephrata, are only a small village among all the people of Judah, yet a ruler of Israel, whose origins are in the distant past, will come from you on my behalf. The people of Israel will be abandoned to their enemies until the woman in labor gives birth, then at last his fellow countrymen will return from exile to their own lands, and he will stand to lead his flock, with the people will live there undisturbed, for he will be highly honored around the world, and he will be the source of peace. Then the remnant left in Israel will take their place among the nations. It will be like dew sent by the Lord, or like rain falling on the grass, which no one can hold back and no one can restrain. Marvelous is the mystery we proclaim this day. Our nature is made new as God takes on our flesh, but he remains what he was and becomes what he was not. Yet each nature stays dis distinct and forever undivided. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born at the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. Marvelous is the mystery we proclaim this day. Our nature is made new as God takes on our flesh. He remains what he was and becomes what he was not. Yet each nature stays distinct and forever undivided. Alleluia. Gracious God, source of life and hope for all the nations, your light is shown in the midst through the nativity of your Son. Today, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we rejoice in the marvels you have done, lifting to you our thanks and praise. For the marvelous mystery of the Incarnation, we give thanks to you, Lord God. For the willingness to journey among us as one of us, we give thanks to you, Lord God. For the privilege you demonstrate to us by enabling us to bear your image, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the hope beyond words that your coming stirs in our hearts, we give you thanks, Lord God. In these holy days, we lift to you our deepest prayers for the state of our world and our human race 
asking you to hear and have mercy according to your great compassion. For the gift of peace to flourish throughout the world, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the church to bear witness to your desire for the human race through her preaching, teaching, and charitable work. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those in our community impacted by violence and hate, hear us, Lord, for your mercy and great is great. For the conversion of those who seek to control others through intimidation and abuse, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for the soon coming of your kingdom, where with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, we hope to inherit your gift of everlasting life. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Lord, for those of us who have family members that don't see your light, that don't trust in Christ, your Son, for salvation, and that are struggling and floundering in their life, we pray for them that they finally open their hearts and minds to you, Lord God. We pray, O oh Lord, for all of us who do follow you, for all priests, monks, deacons, bishops. O oh Lord, that we see those in need and reach out to help as we can and offer them love and support through Christ. And Lord, we pray for those that are shut in, those that are suffering illnesses, those that can't get out because of their physical limitations. Watch over them, O oh Lord. Grant them your grace. We pray for Jackie, O oh Lord, from Brentwood, who passed away. Lord, we pray for the repose of her soul. She's now in your kingdom. We thank you, Lord, that the COVID lift has been cleared at Brentwood. And this week we can begin to have Mass again. And help us, Lord, this year follow you with our whole heart and live for you the best we can. With confidence, we lift in these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O Lord our God, you are the source of light and life in every age. In your goodness, the Virgin conceived and bore your Son, whom we acclaim as wonderful God, the Prince of Peace. Through her loving example, may your people find joy in bearing the word of God from day to day with humility and grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church claims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You are Christ, you are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you did, did not abhor the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. 
you are seated at God's right hand in glory, and we believe you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with all your saints into everlasting glory. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the glory of Lord God order our steps in his ways, and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me this day in prayer. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day. May he grant you peace in this coming new year. And may you strive to live for him with all your heart. Now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.